Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Today we are doing lots of stuff, okay? We have a brand new Heroes of Good Jutsu figures right here to open up. They're not Jurassic World figures, but they are like dinosaurs, so I think they are fantastic. At the same time, I'll be showing you guys my entire collection of Good Jutsu figures right here. We'll also take a look at our Takara Tomi Jurassic World figures as well as some mini playsets. We have plenty of playsets, one right here and there are a couple of other playsets right here on the floor. We'll also be taking a look at the entire collection of Mattel minifigures, okay? So this video is going to be really epic. Let's get started. Alright guys, so let's begin. We have plenty of stuff to go through today, okay? First, right here, we have the battle playset from Mattel. So this is basically the battleground for the mini dinosaur. I was gonna place all the minis on this battleground later on, okay? But first, let's take a look at other diorama playsets. This is a very beautiful one, okay? It comes with a button right here. You can actually open this up. It's basically like a landing ground for the helicopter. So we're gonna be placing all the different playsets on a table, and then we're gonna be putting all of the mini dinosaurs among the playsets. I think this is, this is going to be really exciting, okay? So the next one is actually this, which is the Mosasaurus. So I'm gonna put this on right over here, okay? So let's begin. Let's, uh, maybe let's take a look at a couple of our um, minifigures first, okay? So we have a Spinosaurus. I'm gonna be putting all of the carnivores um, and of course herbivores on the battle playground. We have the Giganotosaurus right here, T-Rex. All right, we have the Fairies and the Saurus. These are basically all the fiercest of all. Majungasaurus, very cool. Let's place this one right over here. And the mini Velociraptor right here, okay? So next, we also have plenty of Takara Tomi figures, which we are going to take a look at as well. And a ton of um, Gujitsu figures. But first, Let's have a look at this. This is basically a new set. I really love the Gujitsu figures because um, this is actually like a crocodile and this one is like a dragon. So I'm gonna be unboxing them. Let's get them out of um, the pack. Yeah, hopefully we are able to get more Mattel Gujitsu figures that will be really good. But first, let's have a look at this. These two figures right here. So we have Blazer Gone as well as, what is the other name? I can't remember, let me take a look again. We have Blazagon and Rock Jaw. So very cool, so let's see. Let's try Rock Jaw first with a movable head, okay? The arms can be stretched. Let's see what's inside Rock Jaw. Wow, very cool. It's basically like little blue bubbles inside. Very, very nice. Can it change color? I don't think so, but it looks really, really cool. And Rock Jaw is able to stand as well, which is kind of rare for the Gujitsu figures. And this is basically Golden Blazagon. Oh, and inside is just Golden Slime. Very nice, you can actually remove this, the suit. So this is like a dragon or like, you know, it looks like a Spinosaurus to me, very nice. I'm gonna put this one right over here. So in case that you guys do not know, there were actually two brand new Jurassic World Gujitsu figures. This is the Dilophosaurus. It comes with movable jaw. The head can be rotated as well. It's quite a small figure. And the other one is actually an Indominus Rex. So we have two brand new Gujitsu figures. Very nice. Okay, next up, not too sure whether you guys have seen this brand new set right here. This is basically the Takara Tomi Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary playset that contains a Red T-Rex, a Velociraptor, as well as a Dilophosaurus. So let's get the figures out from the box. Wow, it looks really good. So let's do this. All right, guys. So these are the three figures. Dilophosaurus is actually a brand new species to Takara Tomi. Looks really beautiful. Let's place all the Takara Tomi figures right here. And this is the Red T-Rex. Looks really good. And this is the Jurassic Park 
Velociraptor. Okay, next up, let's have a look at two more Gujitsu figures. We have a Mosasaurus, which is a prehistoric marine reptile. Just check this out. You are able to find like fish bones inside its body. All the Jurassic World figures, I mean all the Gujitsu figures, let's place them on the right hand side. Let's take a look at this. This is a Megalodon. I really love this because Megalodon is actually a prehistoric sea creature as well. It's a huge shark, a prehistoric shark. Looks really beautiful. And let's take a look at another one. Have you guys seen this one? This is basically the Gujitsu T-Rex. Let's see what's inside the body. You're able to find bones as well as a mosquito, which is very, very cute. So three figures. Now let's move on to the other minifigures, okay? So right here, okay, I have a litter box. This box actually contains plenty of different fences and materials that you can actually use to create the playset. And speaking of uh, the fences, I have the beautiful Jurassic Park gate right here, which you can actually open and close. So this is part of uh, the Mattel mini playset. And of course, I have the fences right here as well. So you can actually create like a literal diorama. So let's just place this fence right here, okay? Right over here. Okay, time for us to take a look at more Mattel minifigures. This is basically the entire set of Mattel minis. So let's get a few of them out and place them on the battlefield or around the diorama, okay? So let's let's do this. So for Triceratops, so I'm gonna put all the herbivores in this green pastures right here. So, and this one is a Stegosaurus. I think it looks really good as well. This is a Nophthosaurus. It is a semi-aquatic dinosaur. So I'm gonna put, okay, it's not a dinosaur, it's a prehistoric animal. So I'm gonna put this one right here. Iguanodon, over here, all the herbivores. Parasaurolophus, over here as well. And what do we have right here? Concavenator. I'm gonna put a concavenator in the battleground with the other carnivores. Next, we have a Velociraptor, okay? Also in the battleground, Baryonyx right here, okay? Gallimimers. I'm gonna be putting this in the green pastures right here. Blue. Pretty cool. Another Velociraptor. This is a generic version. Gallimimers again. A brown version. Therizinosaurus. This one has a movable arms as compared to the previous one. And we have two more Velociraptors. Not Atrociraptors. Okay, I think this one is an Atrociraptor. This is an Atrociraptor and this one is the Velociraptor. So all the carnivores right here. Okay, very nice. So now let's move on and take a look at a couple of um, Jurassic World Takara Tomy figures. Let's have a look at uh, maybe a few more. Let's see. So what do we have right here? Dimetrodon. Very beautiful one. This is quite a relatively, I mean, it's a re relatively a new figure. Atrociraptor. This is probably Panthera. I'm not too sure. We have Ghost right here. Ghost is the most easily recognizable. And Atrociraptors are basically known as the Savage Teeth. We have the arm lizard right here, Brachiosaurus. Let's see whether we are able to put it right there because I think it's really big. So let's play this one right here. Indominus Rex, perhaps one of the strongest, if not the strongest hybrid dinosaur. Okay, oops, the Brachiosaurus has fallen down. Okay, so let's have a look at more good jitsu figures, okay? So this one is a pretty cool one. It's an elephant. So I call this a mammoth. Yeah. And you can see it actually has some beats inside his body. And one of its arm is actually like a hammer, which is kind of cool. Okay. Let's put this on right here. And we have the Gigar. The Gigar is actually part of the Jurassic World series. You know, it's just very basic little bubbles inside, little beats. And let's have a look at the Pyroraptor. I think this one is really so much cooler. I like this one a lot. 
it actually has like feathers inside but you have to be really careful because i think some of them can actually lick um the slime out which is kind of um um you know troublesome and messy all right next up okay have you guys seen this this is basically chunky the um chunky tyrone the tyrannosaurus rex nickname chunky this is our very own plush figure if you wish to get this you know for yourself there's only 90 left limited edition 100 of them made but only 90 left get yours the link down below dancesurprisestore.com you can check it out okay so now let's take a look at more minifigures a bunch of them let's have a look we have in the pseudo ceratops right here okay beautiful figure we have the albatosaurus which is quite a new figure that has been added recently so let's maybe put it right at the back ceratosaurus which is you know considered an old figure i i would say triceratops right here here's another triceratops we have dr ali settler i'm gonna put dr ali settler right over here right at a helipad and a lytrosaurus so all the herbivores over here very nice let's get a handful of takara tomi figures right here let's see what we've we got right here now pseudo ceratops again so just now i've shown you guys this one they are basically the same species but different color the pseudo ceratops right over here we have a conotaurus with a broken horn Conotaurus is known as the meat-eating bull. Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King. This is actually from Jurassic World Dominion. We have a Baby Betar. I think so. I think this is Betar, not Baby Blue. All right. Let's get another handful of minifigures. Let's see. Sinoceratops with a movable head. Gorgeous. Giganotosaurus with the movable jaw. I'm gonna place it right over here, but it can seem to stand. Yeah, some of the figures it just can't stand. So let's put it right lying down. We have a green T-Rex. I like this. Let's put it right in the middle. So Radosaurus, the red version. Alright. Sukomimers. Beautiful. Which is known as the crocodile mimic. And we've got Atrociraptor. This should be Panthera. So right in the battlefield. Baryonyx, green version. Sticky Moloch. Let's place it right over here. Next to the, um, what do you call this? Command Center. Dimorphodon. You can probably put this right over here on top of the Command Center. Okay, next up, let's have a look at more good zoo figures i really like this one this is known as shreds if i'm not wrong it looks like a spinosaurus yeah i think this is a spinosaurus i can't remember and you can see there there are actually like human skulls okay not human skulls it could possibly be um other skull bones i'm not too sure but really cute and this one it's another one which i think is also blasgon okay or is this stretch i can't i can't remember it's a uh, very stretchy Okay, but there aren't any items inside and I like this one. This one is like a shark. Very beautiful. And you can see the interior of his body, all the bones. This is one of the um, better looking ones I would say. Really like this one a lot. Now let's head back to the um, Jurassic World Wujitsu. This is one of the earlier releases. The little balls inside. And here's a kind of Taurus. This is a nice one. There is a new version of Conotaurus. Yeah, I might be getting it. Check this out. Red slime. Very cool. And this was the very first blue. This, you're not able to see the inside of this body. You can't see it. This one is a very cool one. A Triceratops. You're able to see, you know, little bits inside as well. Have a look at this. Some of the balls are actually bigger. Yeah, some are big, you know, some of the pros inside, some of the bubbles inside are actually bigger than the others. 
It's basically like a triceratops. I like this one a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess another one which I think looks really good. This is the other triceratops. You see? And you can see this one has two two horns. This one has a broken horn. And you can see the uh, skeleton. Very cool. I love these figures. They're so much fun, to be honest. Okay, next up. Let's have a look at more Takara Tomi figures. A bunch of them. Baryonyx. Baryonyx is basically like a um, semi-aquatic dinosaur. So this one is actually for the Mosasaurus, but we didn't bring Mosasaurus, so it's okay. And we have a Trociraptor Tiger. Oh, we do have a Mosasaurus, not from Mattel, but from Takara Tomi. So this one can definitely be placed in the containment right here. Stegosaurus. I like this figure, but the colors are not very nice, I would say. A couple more, let's see. Sticky Moloch. The River Sticks Demon. That is the meaning of his name. And the Giant Southern Lizard right here. Giganotosaurus. Beautiful one. Let's place it right at the back. Let's grab a handful of minifigures now. Okay, this one is from Takara Tomi. It's Owen. Okay. It's really hot to stand. So we have a very nice... Okay, this one is one of the um, newer ones. Boreallo Powder. Okay, this will be placed in the herbivores area. Velociraptor, a green version. Allosaurus, I like this a lot. The different lizard. I'm gonna put it right in the battlefield. And Dominus Rex is perhaps going to destroy a lot of um, the carnivores in this battle. If this is like a, a battle among all the carnivores, I think that would be very exciting. This is Panthera. Okay, this is very, very fun, I would say. Tyranodon. Okay. Pyroraptor. Into the battlefield. You can see the battlefield. It's totally packed. We have the Conotaurus. Yep. Meat eating bull. Two pan dactylus. Right here on top. We have the Dimorphodon. This is a Trociraptor rat. Let's place it right there. Another Velociraptor. The Lophosaurus. Let's place it into the battleground. I don't think that the Lophosaurus can actually survive. With so many huge carnivores out there. Baryonyx. Baryonyx could probably fight well in a battle. Probably. Okay, now let's move on back to the Gujitsu figures. We, we are left with just a couple of them. This is blue with the movable upper jaw. And you're able to find like blue slime inside. I think it looks really cool. And this is one of the um, earlier ones. Okay. We have Echo and um, Delta. I'm not too sure which is which. I think this is um, Echo. I think this is Delta. I think so. We have the Pyro, which I, you guys have seen it just now. Let's see whether there are any Kujitsu figures that we have missed out. We probably missed out. I'm not too sure. I think we have got all of them. Yeah, I think we got all of them. So, very nice. So, yeah, there's one more right here. This one is a very cool one. It definitely looks like a dinosaur. And do you guys know that all this clothing, you can actually change them. Yeah, this one. Let's, let's see what's inside. Oh. You guys see that? There are like bits and pieces of um, slime inside. Let me see. Yes, has like transparent slime. Very cool. I like this. Place it right at the back. Okay, a couple more of um, minifigures. Let's see. This is the latest one. Bistro Heversaur. Beautiful. We finally got it. I got them off eBay. Iguanodon. 
together with the herbivores Amargosaurus Alright The Trociraptor Ghost Stegosaurus This has got to be the most beautiful one The colors are fantastic And um, Atrociraptor Ghost again Okay, let's have a look at more Takaratomi figures, a couple of them at the same time. Let's see. We have um, one of the very earlier, one of the very early Konotaurus. You know, this sculpt, it doesn't look movie accurate. So, you know, Takaratomi actually uh, made new ones. This is basically a Trociraptor red, if I'm not wrong. Very beautiful. And we have blue, we have two figures One of them has a missing part of the tail <laughs> Okay, and this is a Parasaurolophus Which is from the Jurassic World Dominion series Okay, let's see what else we've got Let's have a look at more minis Yep, so far I think we have got majority of the minis Kentrosaurus, the pointed lizard this is going to be placed right here We have Herrerasaurus A very small theropod So I don't think it's able to win in a battle Oranosaurus The brave lizard Let's place it right over here And Kylosaurus Does it come with a movable tail? Not exactly Let's put it right there Stegosaurus so in total, we have three Stegosauruses, I think. Let's get a couple more, right here. This one, it's um, a Tritops. Tritops. I've never heard of this species, and this is the only Tritops figure in the entire Jurassic World line. Mattel didn't, didn't make a large figure for it. Sakosuchus. Can definitely place this in the pool. You cannot exactly call it a pool, the containment, the water containment. Another Atrociraptor. Panaceratops. Perhaps one of the biggest herbivores right here. Quetzalcoatlus. Let's place it together with the other flying reptiles. They're still waiting for Pteranodon. There it is. Pteranodon, so we've got four flying reptiles right there. This one, wow, I can't remember this. Velociraptor. Gallimimers. So we have three Gallimimers in our park right now. And this is a Trociraptor tiger. Nice. Now we take a look at more Takara Tomi figures. A few more, let's see. Pteranodon, small version, a mini version. We're running out of space, so we got to put some of the um, Takaratomi figures right here. Baryonyx, I think we've seen it just now. This is a T Rex, quite a nice one if you ask me. Okay, it's not able to stand very well, some of them. Quetzalcoatlus. Really beautiful one. Okay, very beautiful. It's a jaw movable. I can't really remember. Dimorphodon. Any one of you guys know what does Dimorphodon mean? It's its meaning. I can't remember. I always get mixed up with um Dimatrodon. The Magosaurus. The Amargus Lizard, this is a beautiful one So I would say this is an armored sauropod So this makes it hard for, harder for carnivores to attack, attack it from behind Okay Okay, let's see Let's get more minifigures out Okay, this one is very cool It's got to be my favorite minifigure Elasmosaurus Okay, which is known as the Thin Plate Lizard We've got a young Trinosaurus right here So let's dump it into the battleground We've got our Sucomimers right here 
So all the carnivores are just occupying the space. We got Owen. Okay, I'm gonna put Owen over here with Dr. Ellie Settler. And we've got um oh my goodness, I can't remember her name. Kayla Kayla Watts, I think. I think so. Um we got a beautiful T-Rex right here. Alright. Where's our app? That's our airplane. Oh, our airplane is uh, actually right here, guys. This is a beautiful airplane that um, Kayla Watts owned, I think. So we can put it right here. Nice. Got a Dimetrodon. Lytrosaurus. Lytrosaurus should be a herbivore. Or it could be a carnivore. I mean, it could be an omnivore, but definitely not um, a carnivore. That's for sure. And this is a park worker. So I'm gonna put all the humans right over here. I think they're still lacking. Yeah, we're done. Another Lytrosaurus. So we've got um two. I think we got two of three Lytrosaurus in our collection. I think so. Triceratops. We have plenty of them. To be honest. Let's see what else we got. We are left with some Takara Tomi figures. Have a look. Spinosaurus. Yeah, huge one. This is basically like the Jurassic Park Spinosaurus. Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus Toro to be exact. With the skull on the right side of the um, snout. And we got Pteranodon right here. Beautiful. Pyroraptor. We are left with a couple more. Here's another Pteranodon. This is a bigger version. And this color scheme is actually same as the very first Pteranodon Rory Vore, if you guys do remember from Mattel. We've, we've got blue right here with an alternate pose. Quite a nice pose. Therizinosaurus from Takara Tomi. Huge claws. You guys do remember how the Therizinosaurus defeated the Giganotosaurus? So they were basically having a battle, and I think the T Rex woke up. You know, he was actually unconscious for a while, and uh, he just ran into the Giganotosaurus and straight right into the claws of the Therizinosaurus. Yeah, that was an epic battle scene. Oh, I really love the scene, but I wish the battle scene could, you know, last a little bit longer. I think that would be quite nice. This is um, Camp Cretaceous version, if I'm not wrong. Bumpy, a fully grown Bumpy adult version. And um, this is blue, but in a different color if you can compare it with the you know the previous one which is slightly darker in color yeah i think this is more accurate in terms of the um, coloration Ceratops from the very first i mean not the, not the first one the second movie jurassic world fallen kingdom it was basically the dinosaur that saved owen owen grady from you know the incoming flowing lava and we have allosaurus right here this is basically the Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus. Different lizard. Beautiful. We have um, Bumpy. Tiny little Bumpy. Super adorable. And our last figure of the day is actually... I think this is... This is Baby Blue, if I'm not wrong. Those are Badar. And this is basically blue when it was a baby. I think so. I think so. Okay. I think we, we are just, you know, we have two T-Rex right here. Okay. I think they're supposed to be different. So let's see. Yeah. Maybe this is just newer, I guess. It's supposed to be the same. Yep. So this is it. This is my collection of minifigures right here from Mattel. Takara told me figures 
and a bunch of other good zoo figures. Hopefully you guys enjoy this because you know we have been doing a lot of collection videos and I think you guys are kind of tired of it. So I thought you know maybe we can do some fun fun stuff today. Maybe in the next video we can do Indominus Rex versus Indoraptor again, okay? So yep. Um thanks for watching this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do remember to get yours. Chonky, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, this is limited, only 100 were made, they are selling out fast, this is a soft launch, I haven't really announced it, once I announce it on Instagram, I think they will pretty much sell like hotcakes, so make sure you get yours, densurprisestore.com, and um, yeah, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one, goodbye.